I think we all had a time in our lives where we were hungry as fuck and broke as fuck and we went to one used to get that sweet 4 for 4. That combo came in clutch. The 4 for 4 was easily the greatest invention since sliced bread, and it helped Wendy's capture the hearts and cholesterol of millions. But recently, Wendy's broke all of those hearts when they announced that they were going to change the prices of their food based on demand, aka surge pricing. And if you don't know what surge pricing is, it's basically when a product or service gets more expensive during certain periods where it's higher in demand. And that's basically what Wendy's plans to do with their new menu. They're investing a whopping $20 million into AI menu boards that will automatically change the price based on the consumer traffic. During busy hours, the prices go up, and during not so busy hours, the prices go down. So during the busy lunch hour, the 4 for 4 might become the 4 for 14. And they plan to roll this out starting in 2025. And as you can imagine, people did not like that shit. A giant fast food empire that net profits over $200 million a year just casually saying they're going to increase the prices of food during busy hours, it's kind of like a giant slap to the face. People were spamming their social media with hate comments saying they're gonna boycott Wendy's. Even Burger King threw some shade by tweeting at them, which is just downright hilarious because normally Wendy's is the tweet troll. The whole move just kind of comes off as a very shameless money grab, especially because it seems like they're not going to pay their employees more during the busy hours when the food is more expensive, and it's overall just a very stupid idea. Now, I am not a business expert by any means. Most of my business skills and knowledge come from watching The Wolf of Wall Street 18 times and also being a master of playing Monopoly, but I genuinely do think this strategy would be shooting themselves in the foot, and let me explain why. Now, surge pricing or increasing the prices during busy periods is a pretty common business practice amongst a lot of industries. Airline companies have built an entire business off of it. During the holidays and vacation seasons where people are going to want to travel more, they shoot the prices up through the roof. And during the times where people aren't traveling so much, they lower the prices right back down to normal. And the reason why they get away with it is because people support it. It's an oligopoly, and if you don't like the way they do it, then tough toodles. Because how the fuck else would you travel from America to Jamaica for a luxurious vacation? By swimming? These companies have perfectly calculated the way to completely overcharge people while also making it affordable. If people are going to spend their money on it, then they can get away with it. Just to give you an idea of how much this does really work, the biggest company on the planet, Amazon, uses dynamic pricing. On average, Amazon changes the prices of certain products every 10 minutes depending on buying behavior, competitors, inventory, and a bunch of other factors. And when they started doing that, they had a boost in sales of over 25%, so safe to say, it works pretty damn well. And dynamic pricing also does exist in the food industry. Delivery apps like Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash change the delivery prices based on how big the demand is and also how many delivery drivers are available. And since all these companies are an oligopoly, they can get away with it. It doesn't matter if you don't like how it is because you don't have another option. If you don't want to pay the $20 delivery fee for DoorDash, Uber Eats, or Grubhub, then tough squash, you got no other options. Other people will pay that price and keep them in business. You think Disneyland is too pricey during the summer? Well, the 40-year-old Disney adults don't really seem to think so, and they'll pay the price and keep them in business. It's exactly how these businesses have made so much money over the years and how they will continue to do so. It's brilliant. However, Wendy's does not possess the same power that these other companies do. They're not a necessity like airline companies or as beloved as Disneyland or as limited in options like these delivery apps. Wendy's is a fast food joint, and there's lots of other fast food places. Lots. The burgers may be good as fuck, but they're not good to the point where they can shoot the prices up to the moon and expect people to still pay for it. If the Baconator goes above 10 bucks, people will just go right across the street and get a Big Mac from McDonald's or go to Chick-fil-A and just get a chicken sandwich. It's not like the average Wendy's consumer is a millionaire CEO who won't care about the change in prices. The average consumers are broke as fuck people like you and I. And one of the most important points here is that the main draw with these fat food places is the affordability, hence why the 4 for 4 was so big. If they take away the affordability, it's just an overpriced cheeseburger. However, this doesn't seem to be the way that Wendy's will be going in the future, because when Wendy saw the public getting visibly pissed about their announcement, they went into full panic mode and completely took back what they said. They emailed every single major media outlet personally to clarify that their dynamic pricing will not include surge pricing. Now, if you don't pick up what I'm putting down, let me 
me mansplain it for you. When they do change the prices, they'll never actually exceed the set price that's on the menu. So the prices of the food will never actually go up crazy high. They will only go down so that consumers can save money. I don't know if that's true and their announcement was just heavily misconstrued or if they actually didn't really plan that and just took it back to prevent going out of business. I'll give the benefit of the doubt and assume it's true because if it is, then I think it's a genius idea. If they do plan to automatically lower prices during certain periods, I really do think that's a solid idea to bring in more consumers. Again, a big draw of the fast food is the affordability factor of it. If they cater well to that factor, they will very, very greatly benefit from it. Again, I'm not a business expert, so hey, maybe I'm completely wrong, but that's just my two cents on the whole thing. And hopefully maybe the Baconator will actually drop low enough to two cents so my broke ass can afford it. Shalom.